Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Lou, and this is Metal Lens Reviews. Um, if this is your first time here, check it out my channel. you like what you see, thank you. Please do me that favor of like, comment, and subscribe. As I mentioned before, it really helps me grow the channel, spread it to the masses, and of course, motivates me to provide you guys more content. And also, um, just throwing this out there, if you guys feel like uh, supporting the channel, maybe you want to drop me a comment and, you know, request a song, or whatever the case is, or if you just like feeling being, feeling being uh, kind, you know, uh, I, I'm going to include a little link, buy me a coffee. It's just another way you could uh, contribute or support my channel if you uh, so incline. So, um, all right, what are we doing here? Well, uh, this is Joker. I'm not going to say that French word. Um, but anyway, this is Joker 2. Um, we all have the Joker, Joaquin Phoenix, um, his portrayal of it in the first movie, which I thought was great. Great rendition of the Joker. This is a sequel. Uh, sequel. We got Lady Gaga playing Harley Quinn, and um, there's been a teaser trailer out there, a pretty lengthy teaser trailer. Um, it's actually kind of revealing, you know. And uh, I mean, I, I like it. I'm I'm a fan. I've always been a fan of the Joker. I think he's a good, you know, representation of a villain, and um, you know, he always had. It was always a good, perfect arc. Him and Batman. I know it's been played out. But I can't think of a better good guy versus bad guy. Because the Joker isn't just a one-dimensional character. He has a story. Like I said, he has a story arc. And this is the extension, uh, pretty much, or the continuation from the first movie. Because the other one kind of left us very uh, ambiguous, open, open, open kind of ending. Uh, I mean, where we know the Joker's story, there's been a lot of versions of him. And this one is, I think, pretty dark and... Uh, more of a serious tone, you know? I mean, uh, Heath Ledger's Joker has always been uh, serious. That's one of my favorites. But I tell you what, this one is a very close second, and um, I think it stands on its own. All right, well, let me stop yapping. We're going to check out this trailer, and, uh, yeah, see what it's all about. This is uh, Joker 2. Two years ago, the name Arthur Fleck hit Gotham like a hurricane. The trial of the century. They believe Arthur Fleck to be some kind of martyr. <laughs> well, he's not. There's a monster. When you smile, I am smiling. When I first saw Joker, when I saw you. The whole world smiled. For once in my life, I didn't feel so alone anymore. Okay, so uh, definitely some new footage here and there. I like that. Um, it kind of definitely leans into the story a little bit more. And I like it. It it has a very dramatic feel to it. Doesn't feel like a superhero movie. Well, or I guess in this case, a supervillain movie at all. It just feels like like a really dark thriller, and I love that. Um, I mean, you could complain as much as you want about Joker and this character being overused, oversaturated, and yeah, you know, you'd be somewhat right, but you gotta admit and appreciate the take on it, you know? Like I said, this this is always a plus when you don't get some bubblegum copy-and-paste superhero movie or supervillain movie, well, however, you know, you get something like this, it's a little more have a serious tone kind of everybody could enjoy it, you know. You don't have to be familiar with Joker to enjoy Joker, you know, especially when it comes to this. And um, I like the tone so far. I think it's cool. For once in my life I have someone who needs me. How about you, Arthur? Do you still think you're a star? Showtime. Look at all these people! I will no longer allow any of you to stop. 
The visuals are going to be pretty cool. Now, I did hear that there's going to be some kind of like a musical element. So, and my interpretation is obviously Joker is very mentally unstable. And so is Harley Quinn. And I think this is might be a uh, like a hallucination kind of effect or something that's maybe playing in his mind, but he sees in his reality, but to everyone else, he's a psychopath. And that's great. That's if I had to do a musical, that's probably the, the direction. That's probably as dark and the most serious type of tone because musicals let's face it i mean sure they're entertaining but you know you can only go so far with them it's not everyone's taste um but if they keep it if that's what it is you know um i think it's going to do really well like i said this version of the joker is definitely going to be more palatable for everybody you don't have to be a fanboy of dc and joker and batman you could be a casual person who loves like dark thrillers and get a kick at this, you know, so uh, it was good, it was good um, do we need a sequel? Eh, you know, it could have been left it just up in the air, but um, I'm pretty confident in the, in the director and um, just the style of it, it's going to be very very theatrical, very dramatic, so I'm, I'm all about it, and you know, I mean say what you will about Lady Gaga whatever, she has, she's in a talent class of her own, whether she you know, be a singer or an actress she's already proven to us she could do both uh, well and uh, I mean I don't have a problem with her uh, she could be controversial as Marilyn Manson I don't care I mean if you could do a good job in front of the camera that's good enough for me and these two dynamic if it's I mean the the trailer's just giving us a small tease but on the big screen I, I think it's gonna work you know like I said you I mean you have to go into this having to kind of like this kind of movie to begin with um, I think that really helps, but uh, like I said, the casual viewer looking for something weird and different, they might get a kick out of this. All right, we got a little bit left. Let's play it out, and I'll tell you guys my final thoughts, all right? I got the sneaking suspicion that we're not giving the people what they want. It's okay, baby. Let's give the people what they want. All right, so we got an October release date. That's cool. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm probably not going to see a day one. You know, my schedule is kind of weird, but uh, I like what I see. I think it's going to be cool. I think, like I said, the Joker, I love him as a character. Um, I really, really enjoyed Heath Ledger's portrayal and, um, you know, Dark Knight. But um, Joaquin Phoenix does a great job. And like I said, I really enjoyed the previous one. And this, I'm going to pretty much say it's like a like one continuing, a continuation of a movie, pretty much. And uh, I don't know. I think I like it. The When they mentioned the musical aspect of it, it did have me kind of worried. I'm like, mm, first of all, do we need a sequel? That we need it to be a musical, but how they're going to go about it definitely might save the movie and probably make it way more entertaining. So, why not? All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Um, we got an October release date. It's not that not that far. I mean, it isn't. It isn't. So, um, I don't know. What do you think? Think it's worth it? Check it out. Let me know in the comments. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this little trailer reaction. Um, I appreciate it. If you made it this far, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you feel like, you know, um, contributing anyway, uh, helping me out, I'll leave the little link for um, uh, buy me a coffee. Or if you want me to check out something, you know, you want me to expedite it, type it in that, uh, in the link, you know. Uh, anyway, um, thanks again, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace.